Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my City Skyland series, Funching and Region. In the last episode, we started with this island, and today we are getting it nearly to finish. What I mean with this is, in the overall settings, we finished this island completely of this episode, but there is still some stuff for me to do that I want to achieve there. One thing is, after this episode, the train station won't be finished at all. It isn't even detailed after this one, I simply forgot it. And we don't have a harbor there, so we now have a harbor island with a an harbor, and this is not ideal, I would say. So I will have I will have to work on the harbor, and this will be done in the next episode. I think it will be next episode, or maybe it will be also off camera because we'll be just be placing a pier on the west side of this island. And yeah, this will be just something very uninteresting for you guys, I think. And here you can see what I'm doing there. I'm just connecting it off in something kind of an kind of a realistic thing. And the reason for this is that I want to have cars driving through it so that we can see the kind of populated area. It is after this episode not even as populated as I would wish it would be at this point, but I'm working on it. And I will be also be placing some markers for people for having an interesting point in the city. And with this, then there we should have a lot of visitors to this island because I want to have quite a lot of people here. And yes. So the population is always under 10k, you might have noticed. This is because I'm always missing something kind of for the people to be happy. And this is something that I'll be working on off camera so that I will be placing hospitals, fire stations, water treatment, water sewage. And just kind of some basic things like this, but we will be building the whole kind of thing that we'll be then there keeping in a city in a video, but just for fixing this problem, I will be doing it off camera. And what can you see me building in the background while I'm talking about something completely different? I'm just kind of expanding the island a bit, fixing in some spaces, and just getting in more parking lots and trying to get it to look more realistic. And for this one, I'm not only using parking lots, I'm also using quite a lot of nature because I still think this should be a modern island, this would be quite modern for a city and yeah, it, it should be very modern I would say and for this one we have a lot of small plazas we have this main plaza in front of the train station and in the, big, in the end, I'm sorry I'm using the word and way too, more, way too much right now, no we will be using quite some plazas, so there will be a thing after this episode, three plazas. From these three plazas, one is in front of the train station, another one is the small park, and the other one is on the other side of the train station, because I will have to place a lot of invisible pathways that they can go all the way there, and I will be placing some markers so that the people can also use it, so that we can also see for a more into the series, we should see people using this island and also taking maybe the ship after I placed it because right now it is an harbor, an harbor island that doesn't have any ship connections so this is quite bad but everything else is quite finished except for the train station and the harbor area for it itself and this is just something that I need to do off camera what I mean with this is that it that I have to work around the fact that uh, trains are something like bug, not the trains, the ships are quite buggy in this area, so I have to work around this. But for this one I've also got an idea, so this might be working, I have to try it out once I'm back in the game. I haven't started the game since five days because I was having a lot of school stress right now and there's a lot of stress coming to me. A lot, a lot, a lot of stress, so there might be even times where I can't even kind of play for a week, so I have to kind of pre-produce some stuff for you guys, but this is okay for me. Here I'm fixing in the entrance to the island, because we need to hide it, because it, is a, it isn't an official tunnel way there, so we are POing one later on, and making some PO stuff, and just kind of getting modern looking, and that is looking kind of correct. And every single space that we have in this area that was empty, I've used for some maintenance areas. The reason for this is that I would imagine that there would be a lot of a lot of metal beams or stuff like this laying around, so that when there's something broke, something's damaged, that they can very fix it very quickly, and you don't have to kind of close the whole thing for some lo some long time. 
And this is also something where Japan is crazy. They can fix the road in some days where in Austria they would need about two weeks, three weeks, maybe some months. So this is crazy. And also what was very important for me in this whole project, this island should be very walkable. There should be a lot of pathways and a lot of access points for the people that are walking there. I kind of achieved this goal, I think. I have a lot of pathways going to the parking lots, just for realism. And we will also get people to go there with the people generator mod, so with park people generator mod, how it's called. And with this one, it should be possible for me to get people people to actually use the areas. And here you can see you making a small maintenance area. I wasn't sure what I should be placing there, and there wasn't a logic way to make a pathway there, so I said to myself, okay. The most important thing for this area would be that you have some maintenance areas where you can store some beams, maybe some crates, just some stuff that you need on a regular daily basis when you want to repair something. It is kind of kind of crammed into the space between the highway entrance and the water. And with this said, it is kind of an it would be a wasted space when you wouldn't be doing it that like this. So. I was just like, okay, this would be kind of realistic, and I did it just there, and it worked out for me. There I've just dragged the wall so that it's connected, and then here, just kind of to made it there. The same thing, and then I've realized that there's this very dirt thing on the ground. This will be fixed in some minutes. I've put a decal over it, just like to get it looking, look to wash away. And this won't be the only space in the city where it will be kind of already very used and for this one I want to also come back to the comments of the last video for the ideas what you should be building on the other side of the mainland and the first idea was a border the border is a great idea to China I definitely want to do it it will be kind of mashed together with the idea of a large into monastery so it will be a monastery and then about something like it like one kilometer away there will be the border there you guys can make a small story if you want to. And for a story I kind of thought about an idea of just kind of the story that probably the monastery was there and there was a wars around it and now the border was moved several times. I want also maybe to make some small bunkers on some old abandoned bunkers on the sealand. So maybe on the shore they want there will be some bunkers and that would be kind of an old death zone or something like this, so just kind of to get a story in there. And here, this is something that you guys can be doing. I would be, I would be appreciating to read your stories in the comments down below. I've also got comments about the water that's looking way too clear, and yeah, you're right about that. I'm trying to change it already, I'm working on it, but I haven't found the perfect way for it, so hopefully, I will find it that looks better. Here. I'm just kind of adding in the fence for the security reasons so that no one is falling off in here and kind of to fence it off and it worked out quite quite good for me and looked also very good. And I'm getting more and more better at what I'm building here and this is also what I wanted to do there because it's just kind of a learning experience for me because I wasn't ever to Japan or China or anything like this. I wasn't even to Asia. So I have to kind of get from Google Street View or ideas of you guys or storytelling of you guys. So this is great. I love it. I've also got I've also got a lot of intel about Prague and building stuff Prague. And this one I just have to say thank you for all the stuff that you sent me. And it is just pretty cool to write with you. So thank you, Sang Wayang. I'm Sang Wa Yang. I'm ho I'm sorry. I'm trying to learn. You know that, but I'm just too stupid. My Austrian kind of brain wants to speak in German, and this is just horrible. So, <laughs> yeah, that's something that I'm trying to learn right now. Actually, also when you be watching this video, I won't even be at home. I right now realized. So when this video will be up, I will be in Bregenz. And this is on the other side of Austria, so I will try to answer the comments on the Sunday when this will be released. And this should also be possible, but I will be able to play this game, I think, in one week. So the next video will be on Sunday next week, I hope. And yes, 
here I'm just making another entrance to the train station. And just also added in the second pathway. Looking good in my opinion. And it's filling in the area quite nicely. And every little green space was filled with some trees and some bushes and some scraps. And some grass, so this was working up for me working out for me quite well. And we're right now in the half of the video, and if you're new to my channel, I would appreciate if you to consider liking this video and subscribing to me. It helps me quite a lot. Also, please give me feedback if you have something that you wish me to build or that you want me to make better. Please write it down in the comments down below. I will be answering the comments. And yeah, thank you for your support in this way. And now, enjoy the video and the rest of the video. So now I've decided at this point that I wanted to make a parking lot beneath the highway and this wasn't that easy but it worked out in the end so it looked very cool. It also has a small maintenance area with a small train, not train track, with a small asphalt road, a very abandoned one that just some beams on it and a little truck so it was just kind of considered abandoned I would say. There I'm just aligning them and they already knew I want to have a street here. This was quite interesting because at first I placed the asphalt, then I've built the... Uh, how is it called? Then I've built the uh, kind of decals on it and then I've built the beams on it and the fence. So just kind of fencing it up in the ending, just kind of get it a the look of a private property. Here for the kind of detailing there I've, I've elevated it over the road and there I've just fixed it in and then added some decals just to hide the weird stuff here. And worked out quite nice for me in the end, and I will keep it, so. I'm very happy about this whole area, how it turned out, so. This is one of the biggest projects of mine that I really enjoyed in the series. I wanted to do an airport at one point. Might be close to the monastery in the border. Might be. It also might be on the island, I'm not sure right now. This is just something that I have to get fixed in my brain where I want it to stay. And I just want to build also a lot of more... A lot more suburbs in this series, so this is just something that I think would be great. And yes, here I've realized when I want to, when I add detail decals above the red dirt, it's looking way better. And if they don't add it in all the spaces, but there I was just trying it, and then there I was filling it in. There you can see it. And here, so. I'm very happy about how it, this whole thing turns out. If you have any ideas so I can do it better and more realistic, please write it down in the comments down below. If you've enjoyed what you've watched right now, please hit the like, bu like button and subscribe. And hopefully I will see you guys in another video of mine. Have a great day and bye.